Let's face it, it's the most wanted game on everyone's list this year. It'll be available at launch of the next-gen consoles in the Xbox Series X, S and PlayStation 5, though not the upgraded versions just yet. And now we have a rough idea of how long we're going to spend in Night City, or at least if we just want to mainline the story. Speaking after a recent episode of Night City Wire, senior Quest designer Patrick Mills said that the main story run in Cyberpunk 2077 is slightly shorter than The Witcher 3. He went on to say, We got a lot of complaints about The Witcher 3's main story just being too long, and looking at the metrics, you see tremendous numbers of players played through that game really far, but never made it to the end. But this is still going to make Cyberpunk 2077 a very meaty game indeed, since How Long to Beat, a site that collates people's completion times, suggests The Witcher 3 can be mainlined in around 30 hours, whereas, of course, lots of people happily spend 100 plus hours doing multiple side quests and just adventuring around the world. During the same most recently aired Night City Wire episode, we got to find out more about Cyberpunk 2077's numerous gang factions, such as the Wraiths and Aldecaldos in the Badlands. We got to see a few more new snippets of gameplay showing both the weapon-based and the melee combat, but overall it helped to bring the game's world to life even more than ever before, and if that somehow wasn't enough, we even found out the game's PC specs, which are actually surprisingly lean for a game that looks as good as this one. The term it runs on a potato PC has been knocked around these days quite a lot, but Cyberpunk 2077 minimum specs you only need 8GB of memory and a GTX 780, with the recommended system specs being around 12GB of RAM and a GTX 1060 or above. Cyberpunk 2077 is out on November 19th for PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and to find out more about the game make sure to keep it locked on enemy.com.